Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. So what did you do? Did you move back home at this point? Yeah, I moved back, back home. Are you back in with the parents at this yeah, time? Yeah, I was back in with the parents. I love yeah. this. This is so nice. I only left home six months ago. Shut up. Yeah. Mate, how good is this? Like playing Brilliant, in the Premier yeah. League and he's just moved out of mum and dad's well, house. So good, mate. Yeah, because obviously you, when you moved to Luton, you were there for the season, weren't yeah, you? Like yeah. 37, 38 odd games. Yeah, yeah. And so at that point you moved out. Yeah, I moved out for the year. So I moved, I moved into a, a place in Bedfordshire for a year, which was my first experience of... <clears throat> I went to Diggs as a scholar, yeah. but you have parents there. That was my first experience living on my own in my own house. What's that like? What was that? It was... Yeah, it was a bit of Be a honest, shock. Could you use a washing machine? No, not at the start, no. <laughs> yeah. But I moved in with another lad that Good. played for Luton and he taught me and he taught me how to cook. He because I honestly I couldn't do anything. Really? Because I was at home and I just my mum did everything. You do everything yeah. in a hotel, you're getting room service, everything. delivery, all that kind yeah, of stuff. I couldn't cook, I couldn't I say I couldn't clean, but like I didn't know how to wash. I, it was I, I don't know anything about built like obviously it was nothing. I was just like a, a baby. But that, but that year was good for me because I grew up and I learned yeah. to do everything, not just like off the pitch as a, as a human. Yeah, this is the bit I think, so like you can you can grow up as a footballer and you can get stronger and you can get all this kind of stuff. But I just think those bits there, the bits where you go out and you're by yourself and you've got to learn how to do it, you're thrown in at the deep end, you know what I mean? I think that's just as important on your footballing journey as all the other bits, the technical attributes and playing in front of first team players and all that kind of stuff. It's so important, isn't it? Getting out there and just doing it. 100%. I always say them loans made me a better player, but a better person. Yeah, I love so that. So it's both. It's not just you're a better player, it's a better person. Because when you come back to the football club and they can they can see that you've kind of grown up or um, learned life skills. I remember we, we spoke about it recently, didn't you, when you went on loan to Watford and like you said, you kind of went down there and your timekeeping wasn't yeah. great. And, I'd and have been it, a similar sort of age though, 22, yeah. 23. And it was one of the senior got moved pros. down there by yourself. And, and it was Al Chamberlain, one of the, the senior yeah. goalkeeper there that yeah. was like, no, this is this is how this is how you do it. This yeah. is how you. You are always a remember them people. Like I said, I remember putting an arm around me and going, "Right, come on, this is how you do it." Well, yeah. and, he, and he looked after me, and his family looked after me. It was gold, mate. You do you you've done sort of moments, oh, massive in your life in your career. No, you're tr it's true, and you you look back on it and you don't forget them moments. No, big damn moments right. in your career, as you say. Like my first, I remember my first day at Blackpool, Jay Spear and taking me around the whole training ground, telling me, "This is where you put your stuff. This is where you get your boots." That sticks with you. The first time I was at Luton, meeting the skipper, Sonny Bradley, and telling me, this is how you do things, it, it sticks with you, no yeah. matter how we, where you end up doing in your career. And how did you find <coughs> playing in stadiums with no fans? <sighs> Felt but, like I was playing 23 years ago. Explain, right, can you, can you explain to me, right, how... So you you've had it both ways, yeah. You've you've done the you've done the playing in COVID with no fans, <clears> super weird, um, and then you've done it the other side where you're playing in pre packed Premier League stadiums. It's on telly. It's all you know the world's watching. Um, what do you think that was an e a, a better way to come into your football career, doing it with no fans in the stadium to start with? Yeah, good question, and I've been asked that before, and I feel like I don't know for me. I think I don't think it is. I think for a lot of players it would be yeah, because yeah. the pressures of. Do you think everyone's stadium, just different with it? Everyone's different with it. For me, I was ready for the fans. Yeah, I yeah. was ready for that experience. All of it. I was ready for that, and some players might not. They would have been better just knowing there's no pressure from people in the stadium. They can just focus on the football. Yeah, yeah. Because I played in the 23s for so long, and I had the experience at Blackpool with the fans. Mm. I was craving it. Hungry I, for I, it. Hungry for it. Yeah. And so it was a shame that I didn't have the fans, and like. But, but on social media, like I felt like I had so much love on social media that yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. made up for it a little made bit. Made up for it. I remember yeah. actually, it's funny actually to say that our, our very first game back <clears throat> at Watford after COVID with no fans uh, was actually against Leicester. Um, it, was a, it, was one, it was on the telly. Um, Chill went stuck one in oh, the top yes. corner in the 90th minute or whatever. And then Dawson <laughs> went and equalised, didn't he, late on or something yes, like that. Yeah, I remember that. It, it, yeah, dirty little one-all draw at the yeah. end. But I remember playing the game, right? And even when <clears throat> and even when Ben Chilwell scored that goal in the 90th minute, yeah, we had done really well, Watford, because it was a big game for yeah. us against Leicester. Um, 0-0, scored that goal. And I remember, and I just, I still, I didn't have that feeling of like, we're losing. Because I couldn't hear the disappointment for the fans or the roar of the away fans, I, j I just thought, ah, oh, well, it's like it's like in training. You know, when a goal yeah. goes in training, it's like, yeah, it's cool, but like, whatever. And then when we scored, I was buzzing, but not, again, not crazy. And it's not yeah. until I got in the car on the way home, right? And I'm listening to the radio and it's on Talk Sport or it's on Five Live or whatever. And they're saying, 
And Watford scored a dramatic last minute equal. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking, well, it weren't dramatic. Yeah. It was like miserable. Yeah. And yeah. Then it, but then I think, actually, that was an actual Premier League game. Do you know what I mean? So it was true. so mad. It was so, so, so mad. Yeah, that's, I, that's felt like games, I felt like games in COVID were different because how many times in a game do you change the start, like the way you play for 10 minutes because the crowd are going mad? Exactly or, that, yeah. Or you sit, have to sit back because you, you're away in the crowd, their crowd are going mad. Yeah. You didn't have that in COVID. It was sort of like just... Did it make a you bit take, like training? Yeah, it, it was. was, wasn't it? Yeah. Did it make you take the fans for granted? Do, do you think people took players took the fans for granted at first? Yeah, before. Well, it's never happened before. Right? Yeah, I know. It's and never happened before. It, I think it probably made people, players really appreciate the fans. I think it? it did for a few years, and now I think it's got back to the. <laughs> <laughs> now yeah. it's got back to the. Oh, yeah, 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 come on, all that kind of stuff. It's just the way it goes, though, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's mad though. Like I say, I think I think some players would have genuinely benefited from that, from their first introduction into first team football. No fans, you know what I mean? They get to sort of play. They haven't got to gauge the fans' like reaction to them or all that kind of stuff. Because I remember even the first game we had back. Um, well, we had, then it went for another lockdown, and then we we were two thousand. Yeah, we played Cardiff, I think mm. we did in the championship That's or right. something. Two two. Yeah, it was, no, we lost one nil. Did you? And we only had a thousand fans in there or something, right? And honestly, these they must have been the angry thousand, right? They must have been the angry thousand Watford fans because we lost one nil, mate. Straight away, booze, everything. I'm thinking, <clears> mate, I, I just want it back to normal. I was, I one, of them, I was one of them booing. Yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> I want them all there, or I want none. Like, <laughs> yeah, one thousand. Yeah. I can hear individual yeah. people calling yeah, me this, that, and whatever. Kind Kind of thing, yeah. <laughs> Stick your GoPro up your ass. Yeah, exactly <laughs> that. Yeah, you're not what, wrong. What about um, so Leicester? Obviously, it's at that training facility. This new training facility mm. is meant to be outrageous. How long has it been there, and how good is it? I think we officially moved into the training ground about two years ago. Okay, yeah, it was Christmas time. About yeah, about two years ago, two or three. So <clears throat> it's been in the works for five years. I remember going to the the site when it was like a building site about five years ago and that was when they just started it but yeah it finished two years ago and yeah honestly it's it's different gravy it's even five years ago yeah when you so what you'd have been 19 yeah i bet you as a 19 year old you're walking there seeing that site thinking i hope i get to train here don't you yeah because even as a kid like when you're 18 19 20, you can be the best player on the team but still you have those massive doubts of i don't i still don't know if i'm gonna make it it's genuinely like that isn't yeah it, yeah for sure like of course, that's natural for yeah. a lot of that people that age. But luckily for me, I have been able to yeah. get there, and I'm like just enjoying it and like soaking it in because you have every facility possible. What would you say, right? So I think this is a, a really important thing to kind of learn or know as you get older. What do you think is the one thing that has made you become a footballer, like actually make it? Do you know what I mean? Because it's, like you say, <laughs> what what the stats nowadays? There's two percent of everybody that tries to be a professional footballer. Two percent actually go on to play a professional game really two percent that is just ridiculous I it was one, oh. wasn't it two percent of the academy no I bet basically anybody that tries to go like in academies yeah make it as a pro yeah, footballer okay. actually end up playing and it could be anywhere i'm talking league two league one really? a professional game yeah what wow. is it you think that you did like better than anyone else or different to anybody else that made you make it i just think it was my mindset yeah i just think i I just, I did, I was not going to let anybody tell me I wasn't going to make it. Like, I just, I always believed I was going to make it as a footballer. And whether that made me work harder than everybody else, well, I had to work harder than everybody else when I was a kid, when I was a kid because of how, like, my physique and that. And it was just my mindset. I didn't want to let anybody that said I wasn't going to do it, like, yeah, prove yeah. them right. I wanted to prove them wrong. So I had, like, a determination and, like, a just a I'll show you attitude. Uh-huh. So, competitive are you competitive oh, so competitive I could be playing a game of tiddlywinks mate I tell you this is the most important thing I think the reason why <clears> I was a footballer and I guarantee you I reckon 90% 90 plus yeah of footballers that make it because they're so competitive yeah. they will not take no for an answer oh. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free. 